I know you see me right now looking very energetic, but believe me, I am cracked up on caffeine and naps. And it's also three, four in the afternoon and around 6 p.m. my energy level just go and I need to sleep. So Hello everyone, my name is Brianna, but you can call me Bri. I'm a personal trainer and a nutrition coach with a passion for bodybuilding. To everybody who is new to my channel, hello, welcome guys. This is my third year competing in the MPC Wellness Division and show day number one of the season is approaching ever so fast. So follow the video, I will give you some more updates and towards the end we're gonna chat a little bit about PED use. And this is Charlie. We get a lot of requests on Instagram for him to participate in the videos, but look at him. He's just so hot, so lazy, and he quite frankly just wants a treat. Right, Charlie? But trust me, he is here for the bodybuilding journey as well. At the time of filming this video, I'm about three weeks out of my first show and about seven weeks out of my second show of the season. And I am so excited to step on stage this year and see how things have changed. I have been checking in with my coach about a couple of times a week ever since we hit six weeks out of this first show. And it is a great opportunity for me to just see how things are moving or not moving we're not really making changes every single time that i do check in with my coach but it's a great great opportunity to keep me focused there have been times where i felt like i haven't made any progress why is my body not responding and then i compare my pictures on saturday to my pictures that i took on tuesday and there already are changes Look at the comparison of this video of me posing from my last check-in and this video of me posing from this week's check-in. And you can see how my waist really came in. I am really happy with the fact that I have been maintaining my glute and leg size. It's really important because glutes are really a big criteria that gets judged when we are on stage. I don't think there's any more than five pound of a difference difference between the last check-in and this check-in but you can tell how my physique is looking drastically different now if I was to coach myself I would most likely overdo the cardio and the dieting because I'd be a lot a lot more harsh to myself I feel like whenever you have a coach despite of me being a coach and doing it for other people it's easier when somebody has more of an objective eye of your physique where you are and they just kind of give you the plan so then you can focus on giving other people the plan so I just feel like and it's not just my professional opinion but many other people in the industry who have an understanding they will have a coach also I experimented with my show day makeup and this is exactly how I think I'm gonna do my makeup for the show I love doing it so can you tell I did my makeup for this video too you better be able to tell that now let's talk a little bit about the training and nutrition part when it comes to those oh my god those have changed like a lot so let's start from here last time we checked in together it looked a little bit like this I had five training days a week three leg days two upper body days i believe i had about three cardio sessions weekly that were like fairly short and not too long currently i am doing like i said one leg day every three days one upper body day a week and when it comes to the cardio i am doing cardio seven days a week that is every single day of the week the sessions range between 15 to 50 minutes long but quite honestly all of them are 15 minutes long minus some days when i do only 15 minutes and it's not so much fun but we are so close to this first show and i am so determined to just push through power through get everything in that i need to do i am 
taking all the necessary steps to be prepared for the show so although this is not like the most ideal situation that one can be in I'm also not complaining too much in terms of calories we're looking like this last time I believe we were about 1800 to 2000 now we are anywhere around 16 to 1700 calories depending on the day I would say with my lowest calories being on rest days quote-unquote because I just told you I don't really have a rest day um, at the time so in terms of food not a lot we are lowering carbs we're gonna lower them probably furthermore and then fuel me up uh, and you'll know more about that when I film my peak week vlog let's chat a little bit about PED use performance enhancing drugs so I like giving you guys some sort of valuable advice at the end of these videos um, I had a viewer ask me if I am going to address a topic once I shared in a video that I am not natty anymore and I'd love to I'd love to share more on the topic with you but first and foremost I'd like to say that I am also new to PED use um, it's not something that I'm very experienced with it is only my first year ish of using uh, PEDs so everything that I share with you is strictly my case my body and my personal experiences so please take everything with a grain of salt when it comes to taking PEDs I would say first and foremost one should make sure that they have reached their natural potential for muscle growth ideally they're over the age of 25 um, they also are working they're smart, starting with small doses and working with somebody who is kind of guiding them as opposed to just taking things blindly and that uh, they also are using a good source of PEDs now once I made sure that all of these things checked off on my list I asked myself do I want to do this competitively and professionally and the answer was yes so I decided that I can indeed use the use use the use of PEDs this is my prep brain speaking but we're gonna leave it at that filming this a few days later and if you would like to know more about why I chose to start using PEDs please click the following video and check it out I feel like when it comes to PED use there's too much of stigma around it and this is one of the reasons why I don't mind speaking about it I am not going to share too much about what and how much am I using this depends very much on what are you competing in what are your goals um, your personal stats physique there's many different things that go into it but I am going to speak on it there's side effects and not and it's just something that if it was to be spoken about especially by women a little more I feel like it would be better understood it is not like we are building muscle mass like that it's actually lots of hard work that goes into training into recovery we are doing everything that we can and whenever you are on gear shall we say it is just giving you a slight advantage now some people are going to tell you it's a crazy advantage other people are going to tell you it's a slight advantage I'd like to call it a slight advantage because truthfully all I'm feeling is 50% less sore and a little better recovery in between my sets that's about it now I would definitely say that whenever you decide to use PEDs guys please please make sure that you stay safe and don't just go about it like it's the easiest thing out there and the most natural thing out there as much as I'd love to speak about it so we can help remove the stigma from the topic it's also something important and important decision to make so make sure you guys stay safe and if you guys enjoy more content whoops just like this corgi related here and there fitness nutrition bodybuilding please make sure that you hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell so you do get notified every single time I am releasing a video for you guys and if you'd like to get more oh my god 
<laughs> if you'd like to get more regular updates from me feel free to follow me on my social media accounts i'll have them linked in the description box below i am also going to be sharing my new competition suit over there i am so excited it's my second suit ever and thanks for thanks for watching guys i will see you in the next video